Okay, we've played some full chords, but we mostly played those with strumming involved. We've also done some of our power chords, two notes at a time. Now what we're going to do is do some picking through some chords, a really nice, smooth picking action. will give you some variety in your playing. So listen to this track, then we'll look at how is the best way to achieve that. So what we have happening here is I'm holding down a couple notes and I'm playing some open strings. Now this shape is going to be familiar because it's our power chord shape. I'm holding my first finger on the fifth string on the fifth fret and then either my third finger or my pinky, just like the power chord, we can do it with either one. I'm using my pinky out here on the seventh fret on the fourth string. So there's my power chord shape. The difference is what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick through that one note at a time, fifth string, fourth, and then go on up to my third and second, back to third, fourth, and fifth. Now here's the tricky part with my right hand picking is I'm going down, 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 and then I'm going up, 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 up on the last three, down, 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 up, up, up that picking makes it a little bit smoother. I'm not jumping over strings and stuff. Then I move that same exact shape down to the third fret, pick it the same way. So here's the cool thing about these picking patterns. They're gonna be the same shape. Then I move it down to the second fret. The only difference is I take my pinky off altogether. So the only note I'm holding down is my fifth string on the second fret. And then right back up to the previous shape on the third fret. So if I put it together slowly, now a couple things you want to watch out for. Keep your picking smooth, keep it flowing, and then make sure you're not leaning your fingers on any other strings. Especially when we're doing this, you really got to be clean. When we were doing our chunky, distorted rock power chords, fine, you could sort of lean on things and it'd be a little bit more sloppy. But with this, you got to be really clean. Don't let, whether you use your pinky out here or your third finger, don't let that third finger lean on that third string and get that dead sound. So practice doing this one clean, play it along with the track. It's really nice and slow, mellow, gives you a really nice sound. As you hear, I have a little bit of chorus on my guitar. That's the effect that basically makes it sound a little bit like it's underwater. That's a chorus effect. So when you're dialing in your sound, if you've got chorus on your amp, give it a try on this one. <laughs> 